I couldn't intelligently give an answer. Um, so I really don't know. Tim McGraw is obviously country music royalty. So I don't think any of us expected to hear him speak out about the Jason Aldean try that in a small town controversy. But he did. And what it revealed about him and the state of his friendship with Jason Aldean was pretty surprising. Jason's controversial song just reached a shocking milestone. Try That in a Small Town reached number one on the Billboard Hot 100. That's the first time that one of Jason's songs has ever reached number one. So it would seem that millions of people are supporting Jason and his music. But the debate about the song and video isn't going away either. Country artist fans and followers have taken sides and even gotten into social media wars over the controversy. But when you're Tim McGraw, sources with inside knowledge have claimed it's harder to rock the boat. Shockingly, Tim got asked about the Jason controversy in a recent interview with AP News. And what Tim had to say about it is unbelievable. Some insiders even made the shocking allegation that Tim phrased his response so it wouldn't make major headlines. When AP News brought up the subject, Tim's first response was that he was being completely honest. But was he? While Tim did tell AP News that he had heard the hubbub surrounding Jason's song, Tim also told the AP News he hadn't even heard the song yet, let alone watched the controversial video. For that so-called honest reason, Tim said he couldn't intelligently give an answer, so he really didn't know. But do you believe that is the real truth? Listen closely, because there's another side to the story. And if you read between the lines, you could think that Tim is more supportive of Jason than he really wants to admit. Or maybe not. This is what Tim said, in part, to AP News about Jason's music video. I haven't seen it, but I'm not going to tell an artist what they should cut or what my opinion is. I'll tell you what I like, and I'll let my songs sort of speak for themselves. That might sound like the real truth from Tim, but what he said after that in the interview has many people scratching their heads and wondering exactly which side he's on. Because Tim finished speaking out about Jason with an unbelievable remark. Tim said he would never tell another artist what song they should cut or not cut. But if an artist chooses to record and perform a song like Jason did, then the artist might have to face the consequences. Considering that Jason's song is currently number one, and Tim is claiming that he's never heard it, sources with inside knowledge say that Jason is only facing one consequence right now, and that's the biggest success of his career. So does Tim have a problem with Jason's success? Let's try and set the record straight here. Some media outlets called Tim's interview awkward, and they agreed that Tim didn't want to rock the boat, so he avoided truly answering the question. The Whiskey Rip website has went as far as saying that Tim has commented on many things recently including the crazy trend at concerts this year when people throw things at the artists on stage. But Whiskey Riff also made a shocking allegation. They claimed that Tim decided to stay safe on the subject of Jason Aldean. Many Nashville insiders would say that was a smart move on Tim's behalf. But is there a personal reason why Tim gave the AP News such a non-answer answer? Are Tim and Jason friends? And is that the reason why Tim didn't really answer the question in a satisfactory way? Or is there another reason? The most shocking reason potentially being that Tim and Jason are enemies. There's another side to this story, and the real truth is pretty shocking. Last year, Jason was talking to his old friend, Tracy Lawrence. Tracy got famous in country music throughout the 80s and 90s, and Tracy currently hosts his own podcast called TL's Roadhouse. Jason was a guest on the podcast in October 2022, so this was before all the controversy. Jason and Tracy started joking about all the crazy stuff that had happened to both of them on tour. They described all kinds of insane pranks they pulled on their fellow artists, or pranks that fellow artists pulled on them. That's when Jason told a shocking story about quote-unquote McGraw. So Jason and Tim aren't on a first-name basis? Listen closely because you won't believe this. Jason talked about opening for Tim on tour and when McGraw pulled a prank on him. Shockingly, Tim played this practical joke on Jason when Jason was performing on stage. Jason was wearing an earbud. That's what music artists wear on stage to hear the band playing and the road crew backstage. This prank happened on the last night of the tour, so Jason was giving it his all. Jason told Tracy he was singing Dirt Road Anthem in front of thousands of people, when all of a sudden, Jason heard Tim's voice in his ear. The joke was, Tim had grabbed the microphone being used by the backstage crew, and he began singing a Tim McGraw song to mess with Jason on stage. Apparently, the joke worked. Jason told Tracy that all he could hear was McGraw in the middle of his show, and shockingly, Jason said he got completely lost in the middle of his show. Jason said it was hard to come back from that one, and Jason said he looked towards the side of the stage, you won't believe who he saw. At the same same time that Jason was suffering huge embarrassment on stage, Jason saw Tim on the side stage laughing his head off. So did that make Jason so mad at him that they became enemies? The answer is no. Jason told Tracy that Tim's practical joke was a pretty good one, and it seems like Jason calls him McGraw like it's a casual name for a friend. So Jason and Tim might not be BFS, but the real truth is they enjoyed touring together, and Jason has great memories of the experience. There's also proof in pictures that Tim and Jason are on a friendly basis. They've taken pictures together at award shows, including a picture of Jason, Tim, and Faith Hill at the ACM Awards in 2013. That's the same year that CMT included Tim and Jason in their Artist of the Year television special. And CMT called their celebration a complete dude fest. Because male country artists were dominating the charts that year. Jason got interviewed for the special and he gushed about how cool it was to be a part of this fraternity. Jason said that country music is one of the coolest things in the world. And he was glad to be a part of it and glad that people like what he does. While Jason was on the way up that year, sources with inside knowledge say that Tim was making something of a comeback. 
They also said that Tim was reclaiming his place as one of country music's most bankable stars. And Tim was also celebrating his huge new record deal with Big Machine Records. When Tim got interviewed for the CMT special, he sounded just like the country music king that he is. But Tim spent as much time honoring his country music brothers, including Jason. Tim said the new artists that are coming along are making great music. Tim said that his fellow country artists kept him going and inspired him to make music. Tim also said that new artists taught him something every time he saw them on tour. They also taught him something whenever he spent a few minutes talking to them. And every time that Tim heard one of their records, it inspired him to go back in the studio and make better records. Tim believed a decade ago that this made him better at what he does, and he'd gotten better at his craft by doing that. When you listen back to Tim saying those things on the CMT Artist of the Year special, and you compare what Tim said back then to what he just said about Jason, specifically, Tim saying he hadn't listened to Try That in a Small Town or watched the video, it leaves you with a big question mark. Was Tim telling the real truth? But whether he was or not, there doesn't seem to be bad blood between Tim and Jason. So do you think Tim was playing it safe? And did you hear the awkward interview? How do you think Jason feels about what Tim said? Let me know in the comments below.